Hi, I'm Linda Hutchinson of L. Hutchinson Designs. Today I'm going to discuss the resale of bead jewelry. If you like to make bead jewelry as a hobby and you want to turn it into a business, there are many things that you need to learn, including getting a tax number and all that kind of stuff, but I'm going to discuss some of the more physical aspects of it. For instance, when you want to go to sell your jewelry to buyers and stores, or perhaps at a craft fair or whatever, you have to display your jewelry. And one good way to display it is on velvet pads like this. They have foam core or other kinds of backing like that with a little bit of padding and velvet on top. You can make your own, you can buy them pre-made in most craft stores. You want to get some black ones to show the lighter things against and some lighter ones to show the medium to dark things against. For instance, I have this necklace here that I made and I have it, if you notice, I move this around and it stays in place because I have it held down with U-pins. U-pins are very, very handy. You take the U-pin and you slide it around the item and each side of the pin goes into the velvet. The little hook goes over the item and you put as many as you need to hold the item in place without concealing the item. So this is great if you're bringing the stuff around from store to store and you want it to be very portable. Also, if you're at a craft fair and you don't want people to lift your stuff, unfortunately there are a lot of shoplifters out there, this will slow them down a little bit if you have everything pinned down in a big display. So now you want to price your items. They have these stickers that it looks kind of like a barbell. You write your price on. If you have a serial number or whatever, you can write that on the other side and you put it around the item. Like for instance, if I wanted to price this, I could write all that stuff on and then just loop it around here and stick it together. And that's how, I'm not going to stick it on here because it's a little um, big for this. This is better for a thinner chain or whatever, but they come in various sizes. And you can loop it around. Imagine if this was an ear wire. You can easily loop it around this and then just have the price displayed so the customers don't have to ask you every item. And you also want to have hang tags. So again, if you have jewelry that you're selling in a store, you can bring it in and depending on the display, they may want to lay it down in a, in a counter or they may want to hang it up and they, you should have a hole punch ready to punch whatever kind of size holes they need for the display. You want to have business cards so they can contact you for future purchases. That's just a few helpful hints to get started with the resale of bead jewelry. My name is Linda Hutchinson. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye-bye.